and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a stack column graph in Adobe Illustrator. So the approach is the same as with the stacked bar graph. Just select the basic tool for it. I hold shift when I drag this rectangle and we've got our spreadsheet opened automatically. Just leave the first cell empty and then add your parameters on top and on the left hand side. But this time the top so the names of the social media companies, they're not the x-axis anymore. You can see that right here. The left hand side, this is now our x-axis and the names of the social media companies, they will be stacked with their related values on top of each other to create a single column. I'll just add some more random values here. And that's about it. I'll close that. Keep in mind that you can't now resize it. We need to add some adjustments to it before we can. Make sure it's selected with the selection tool, then right click and type and you can add or get rid of a drop shadow for example. You can change the position of the legend. And you can also play around with the size of the cluster and column width, which in this case affects the columns. So this is the column width. But if we go down with the cluster width, it makes the columns smaller or thinner as well. So I want to have this drop shadow and I have the legend on the right side and 80% should be fine for this size. If I want to change the colors, the best way to do so is to use the group selection tool. Just click on the rectangle next to the name of the social media company and then click again on it and it will have selected all of the related rectangles in the columns. Oh, I didn't select that properly. It's fine, but I don't want to have it yellow. Let me make that green. So that's okay. Let's just say you want to adjust the shadow. You can just use the group selection tool as well for that. Just double click on it, all of them will be selected. And maybe now we can still see the stroke. So I'll select it again with the group selection tool and I get rid of it. So this is how I can adjust the shadow and background. And if you want to play around with the size, for example down here we've got the names on the x-axis, they overlap. So I go to object and ungroup it until I can't ungroup it further. So there you go. And now I can, for example, get rid of the stroke of the columns, of the single stacked rectangles in the columns. But I want to keep that, so I press Ctrl Z. And I can resize that by simply selecting it all the selection tool and then hold shift hold alt and you can keep the proportions whatever you need here if you want to adjust the size of the names on the x-axis so that they don't overlap anymore just select them i'll shift click on them and you can use the character menu just as with regular type and that should be fine and that's about it. This is everything you need to know about the basics of creating these stacked column graphs in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.